Okay. Um, Jared, uh, just, uh, uh, you know, the job you've done has been fantastic. I mean, is this the way you envisioned your career to go? And uh, everybody's just so impressed with what you've been doing. Um, no, that's, this is not what I envisioned. I thought I would be struggling at first because when I first came here, I wasn't very, like, you know, in tune with, like, football itself just because it was, like, my second year being here. But um, this year has been so good for me so far, and I hope I, I can just keep it up. A anything you can say about um, about uh, Quincy? Quincy? Oh, that's no. my guy. That's my guy. Actually, um, out of the whole D-line, besides him and uh, – and football, not for it. Uh, that's the, those are the two guys I look up to, and uh, and uh, what's it called? As far as like technique and how they play, the mindset during the game, those are the two guys I look up to, and like how like watch how I like corporate my game into. Thanks. Awesome. Next up, we have Matt Shodell from Kane Sport. Matt, go ahead. Hey, Jared. Um, wanted to go back in time a, a little bit. Um, I think you took up football what as a junior in high school. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, so walk us through. Was, did like a football coach see you in the hallway and talk you into playing? Was it your idea? I know you were playing basketball before that. How did that sort of all come about? Uh, it was, they, they've been asking me to, uh, to play football since my freshman year, but like I was a big like basketball guy. Like I was highly recruited and everything. And then like what's called junior year, like no sophomore year, I started gaining weight. Then junior year, I kind of like bulked up a little bit, got some muscle. And then, like, it just, like, uh, basketball wasn't just looking too good for me as, like, as well as football was. So, football, I tried it out for fun, just for fun. And then, um, I guess I just took off with it with the tight end. And then after that, I played D-line. I had fun. At, I had more fun at D-line. So, I was like, you know, I'm going to stick with this football. And I saw my, my future as a DN. Well, that's DN on D-tackle, but D-tackle. Awesome. Next up, we have David Feronas of the Sun Sentinel. David, go ahead. Hey, Jared, uh, a couple of questions for you. Uh, what have been the biggest strides uh, you feel you've made uh, in basketball since, you know, first becoming a, uh, or, or in football, I'm sorry, since first uh, transitioning to the sport, uh, you know, playing on the D-line when you were in high school, and then once you got here, what you had to do. And then a uh, second question I want to ask you is, uh, can you describe your hoops game? Uh, what do you like on the hardwood? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what I got better at was using my hands because during high school, I was more of like a, you use my feet kind of guy, like use my like basketball skills on the football field. So I feel like Coach Stroud has taught me to use my hands, and, you know, actually use my strength and like move people and everything. But uh, as far as like my basketball skills on the, on the court, I don't think anybody could guard me. That's it. It's that simple. <laughs> I just feel like I'm I'm too big and quick. Now I feel like if y'all let me shoot, I, I'll, I'll miss a few, but I also play defense, so. Awesome. Next up, we have Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny, go ahead. Hey, Jared. I wanted to ask you about the keep keep the basketball talk going. Do you guys play a lot of three on three or, you know, one on one, uh, you know, to kind of keep yourselves in shape during the offseason? I know former Canes have done that kind of stuff. And then also, yeah. uh, oh, go, ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Answer that one. I got to follow up real quick. Go ahead. Oh, uh, uh, we used to play a lot, a lot of basketball. Um, there's a lot of people that you think that uh, aren't good at, at basketball, but a lot of people that are good on basketball on this team. Uh, I haven't seen Quincy play. He thinks he could beat me. Who knows? We never know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But uh, uh, there's a few bas there's a few basketball players on the scene that are actually really good, like Jeremiah Payton, uh, what's it called, Cam Harris, uh, not a Harris, uh, Cam, yeah, Cam, Cameron Williams, Cameron okay. Williams. So there's a lot. There's a few basketball players on the scene. Who who's the best dunker? Because I've seen videos of like Zion and uh, different guys dunking. You you are who, where, if you had to do the dunk rankings. Who uh, give me a top five of, of the dunkers on the team? All right, dunkers. It was okay. I can't say I'm okay because it'll be the Jeremiah, then me, then I'll say I'll say Cam. Uh, I haven't seen like the older guys play basketball, so they probably could like dunk too, but like I haven't seen them play, so I'm going on basically what I've seen. Okay. Uh, I see Avery, Huff. Uh, that's it. Like those are the guys I've seen like really throw it down. Like, okay. We awesome. got to get some video. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Next up, we have David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. 
Hey, Jared. Um, you, you said at the top you're a little surprised with how like well this has kind of gone. Just I don't know. Do you remember like your first football practice or your first game? Like what what that was like? Was it was it pretty ugly for you? Were there were there like embarrassing moments early on? Yeah, our first game was against uh, what's his name last year. It was it was something. It was a team that it was like a uh, what was the college name? I only played three snaps. Bethune Cookman, did you play in that game? Yeah, Bethune Cookman, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, Bethune Cookman. Bethune Cookman was uh, one of the first games I played and I played three snaps. And I remember it was just like, I didn't know what I was doing. I was scared. And like, I, I don't know. It was just, it, it just looked bad on film. Yeah, I, I picked up a lot of like loafs and not a lot of loafs, but like I played three plays, but I picked up a loaf in three plays. It was just like, you know, how could you do that? It, it was just, I, I didn't like from there on, I just thought like, wow. Like football might not be it for me, and then I don't know. I just worked on myself. And just from uh, your basketball career, is there other than just you being athletic and and kind of having that that quickness, probably better for your size than a lot of guys? Um, are there certain things from basketball that like have helped you make that transition to football? Whether it's like footwork or anything like that. Yeah. I would probably say footwork, but it's like my footwork has hasn't always came from like basketball. I think it, was, it came from dancing too. I'm, I'm a big dancing guy. I like to dance. So, like, I would try to do, all, like, the, the dances that all the little people were doing. So, like, I feel like all my footwork, it came from basketball, too, but it also came from dancing. Gotcha. So, what were you, like, a, a power forward? Like, who yeah, was I was a power forward. I, at first, I, I was a shooting guard, small forward, then I got bigger, so they moved me to, like, power forward and center. Gotcha. All right, we have time for a couple more. Next up, we have David Lake from Inside the U. David, go ahead. Hey Jared, I'm I'm just curious. Did you have uh, basketball offers from from colleges in high school? I had two or three. I had Iona Prep, not Iona Prep, Iona College. I'm sorry. Um, I had uh, a few like a, a D two and a D three. Okay. I said no, no, two D twos. I'm sorry, two D twos, not D three. I'm sorry. And wanted to ask you too, just the feedback you're getting from Coach Stroud right now. What is like the one area where he he's stressing to you that you know for you to take the next step, he wants you to work on this? My pad level, I would say my pad level. I play too high sometimes. Uh, sometimes like it, uh, that forces me out my gap. But uh, other than that, he says I'm doing great. Just keep playing. All right. Next up, we have Tom D'Angelo from the Palm Beach Post. Tom, go ahead. Yes. Hey, Jared. Were there any? Christ the King is like pretty obviously basketball tradition there who anybody in the past uh that you looked up to that you talked to as far as basketball players uh, any you know nba guys that that might have gone to christ the king that uh, that you spoke to or looked up to i mean there hasn't been anybody i like i looked up to mm -hmm. but, like there was just people that i played against I, like i admired like how they played uh, I play. I played with um. There's a kid named Kofi Cockburn. He's going to. He's entering the draft this year. He went to. He go. He um, went to Illinois. That's why I played against every day. There's another kid named Musa Sise. Mm -hmm. Uh, another kid named Ryan Myers. They're like all all these like uh like basketball stars. Like two of them are going to the NBA either this year. No, one of them going to the NBA this year. Other ones entering the M um an NBA draft like next year. It's just a whole bunch of uh, NBA talent over there that like I admired. I didn't really look up to anybody. Did you ever meet Sue Bird? Sue, so that's the uh, the lady legend, right? Yeah, yeah she went to. Yeah, she's in the. Yeah, I, I would. Think, I, I probably seen her, but I don't think I. I, like, I met. Yes, oh. I have. I, I forgot what she looked like. Yeah, I have. I have. I talked to her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, is there? So there wasn't a lot. Was there a lot of talk about her? I mean, she's obviously. One of the greatest women players that ever that ever yeah. played the sport. Uh, people talk about her like it's, they, people talk about more, uh, like the women's basketball team talks more about her. Like, but mm -hmm. like we, we've like, we've seen her around the gym and like you know spoke to her a little bit. We joked around a little bit, but like other than that, like we haven't really seen her that much. Like besides when we like watch the girls practice. Okay, thank you. All right, Jared. Our last question for you comes from Susan Miller Degner of the Miami Herald. Susan, go ahead. Hey there. Um, what kind of dancing do you do specifically? What's your favorite? Oh, well, I like to do the woo dance. I'm the, I'm gonna come up. It's a uh, pop smoke. I don't know if y'all know about that pop smoke. And I I started picking up on the Floridian dances. 
because I, I just like their music and the way they dance. So like, if you see me on the sideline one time, just hitting like, you know, like a little, I, I don't know what it's called, but like, it's something with their footwork and everything. And that's what I do. And I do like the woo dance. You gotta okay. see no worry. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Jared, thanks for taking the time to talk with us and good luck with the rest of the week of practice. Thank you. Have a good day, y'all.